हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यूजिंग मेथड ऑफ पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन फॉर दैट फर्स्ट रिकॉल वॉट इज द मेथड ऑफ पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन यू कैन लर्न हाउ टू डू पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन बाई वॉचिंग माई अनदर वीडियो ऑन इट लिंक ऑफ द पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो दिस वीडियो हियर वी विल डिस्कस when to use method of partial fraction while finding inverse laplace transform if given phi of s is of the type x upon s minus a into s minus b where a and b are constant terms and x is a function of s or any constant then we first split this term using method of partial fraction and we write it as a upon s minus a plus b upon s minus b then we apply inverse laplace transform on this function inverse laplace transform of this function is same as inverse laplace transform of this let me show you an example on this question is to find l inverse of 5s plus 8s minus 1 upon s plus 3 into s square plus 1 we apply method of partial fraction on this function and we try to split this into several terms so after doing so we can say that this function phi of s can be written as 2 upon s plus 3 plus 3s upon s square plus 1 minus 1 upon s square plus 1 now we apply l inverse on both the sides of this relation so l inverse of phi of s is l inverse of this right hand side now we apply linearity property on the right hand side by which we have this as 2 times l inverse of 1 upon s plus 3 plus 3 times l inverse of s upon s square plus 1 minus 1 into l inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 now we can write the values of this inverse laplace transform using direct formulas we know 1 upon s plus 3 is the laplace transform of e raised to minus 3t so l inverse of 1 upon s plus 3 is e raised to minus 3t 2 as it is similarly laplace of cos t is s upon s square plus 1 so l inverse of s upon s square plus 1 is cos t so this terms term can be now written as 3 cos t similarly l inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 can be written as sin t with minus sign this is inverse laplace transform of the given function i hope you understood how to use method of partial fraction for finding inverse laplace transform thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos